hello everyone welcome to datables i hope you are all doing fine in this video we are going to learn about static and dynamic rls that is rule level security what we are going to do we are going to apply static rls and then dynamic rls on this report i will i'm going to show how to apply this rls that is static and dynamic on this report and then publish it to power pi service and we are also going to see how you are going to test it like how whether your static rls is working fine or not or whether your dynamic rls is working fine or not we are going to see first implement the rls that is static and dynamic then we are going to test whether these rls are working fine or not so without wasting time let's get started with this video so before starting the video i would request you to search data tools and power bi on the google and you can see there are different links of from the datables.com that is pl300 exam questions here we have compiled the most important exam questions related to pl300 exam and then top 50 power bi interview questions which has asked in interview regularly and there are multiple articles related to power bi so please do visit datables.com for power bi related videos and articles so without wasting time let's get started with our video So this is our dashboard where we have country filter, product filter, and financial aid filter. And we are we are showing here sales, current year units, YTD units, previous year YTD units, and sales by country, sales by product, sales by current year units by quarter, and sales by discount brand. So let's see how our data looks or our model looks. So you can click on this model view. So this is our model view. You can see we have one financial table. This is our fact table and we have three or four dimension table that is dimension country, dimension product, date dimension and then the security table which is filtering country table. So let's go to our report. So let's see what is the difference between static and dynamic RLS. So in static RLS what you, you, you are going to do, let's say you create a role for the based on the country and the data will be friends. The country will be friends. So this you created a role with country equal to friends so people assigned to that role will only be able to see the data for country friends whereas in dynamic rls you will create a role based on the country but there will be another security table where you will be having the mail ids of the persons and the uh, country value for which they are allowed to see the data so what power bi is going to do power bi is automatically dynamically will find the mail ids of the user who is logged in in the power bi by using user principal name function then it is going to filter out the report based on the security table and and it will go to the security table it will search for the that, that mail id and see like for which country the user is allowed to see the data and it will filter the report based on that country so this is the difference between static rls and dynamic rls so let's create the static rls rules first we will go to this manage rule in modeling tab then we will click on this create rule let's say we create a rule on friends country like people in this rule will only be able to see the data for country friends so what we are going to do we are going to do this dim dimension country we will go to this filter this three dots then we'll click on the add filter and the column name for which we want to add filter this the column name is country we will click on this so this this will be added like country equal to value so here we want to add, we need to add the values for which we want to apply the filter so we will apply filter friends so what this rule is going to do it it is going to filter the dim country based on the uh, this dex function that is country equal to friends so the data will be filtered for only friends country so let's save this rule let's check this this is okay let's save this rule now what we are going to use we are going to test this rule so we are going to click on this view as a rule now we will click on this friends country and check this rule now you can see the data is filtered for friends now stop viewing this rule let's create new rule where you have you are filtering the rule country by friends and product by let's say montana so we will click again on this manage rules create a role country is friends let's name it static friends and montana let's create this rule now what we are going to do we are going to set a filter on two tables like first is country second is product so we'll again go to this then 
click on country column this is the column name for, for which we need to set the filter let's put it friends check this then go to this product table click here add filter choose the column on which you need to apply filter and then put value montana save this rule now the rule is applying now test this rule using this view as column now when you click on the static friends in montana you you will see that the report is filtered based on friends and montana now what you are going to do you you are going to publish this report into power bi service let's save the changes now we what we are going to see we are going to see how to assign people to this these rules so we will publish this report in my workspace so the report is published let's check yes it is published now go to my workspace we have the sales dashboard now we will go to click on this three dots in this data set column of sales dashboard too we will click on the security now you can see here are the roles which we created in power bi desktop so what you need to do let's say you want to assign people to this role you will enter their mail id let's say wait so this is our mail id let's say enter and we will add now this this person is added to this role you can click here and test this role save changes now when i log in this through this role you can see i'm only able to see the data related to product friends and product, uh, country friends and product montana so we have seen like how we can create different role in static rls but the issue here is let's say you want to make different roles like one for france one for germany one for canada one for usa and then for mexico so you need to create five different roles and let's say you need to create multi uh, same for the product also you need to create different roles now this is a problem to create five roles let's say you have 100 countries then you need to create 100 roles so this problem solves with dynamic rls where we just need to create one role and that will fulfill our demand for uh, filtering with different countries so let's say how to achieve this so for dynamic rls we need another table that is security table so let's check what is there so in security table we have email ids of different users of the report and what are the access they have so you can see this xyz has the access of country germany so he is going to see the data for germany country yzx is going to see the data for mexico and yx is going to see the data for germany so what we need to do we need to filter uh, the country table the country dimension table based on this table so what what we are going to do we will connect this security table with country table and make the direction from security table to country table so in rls we will filter uh, this security table by mail id so let's say we filter it by xyz so it will filter this table with germany row and then in result security table will filter dimension country with germany and then dim country will filter financial table with germany filter so a germany filter will be applied on the fact data and in report you are going to see the data for germany only so let's say how to achieve this now let's create the dynamic role on country so we'll click on this manage role we will this is role is created so let's delete this first so we will create a new role dynamic on country we'll create this role now go to this role dynamic country and we will filter the security table so what we will do we are going to click on this three dots and we are what we are going to do we are going to do email ids and on based on those email ids country table country dimension table will be filtered so we'll click on this email value id value then we will click on this value and we will write user principal name so user principal name is a dex function what it will do it will fetch the email id of the user who is logged into the power bi so we'll check this and then save this so the rule is applying now let's see our data so we can see that xyz at the data is going to able to see the data for 
country Germany so let's test this rule we will click on this view as then we will click dynamic country and then the other user like for which we are testing this data so we will write his email id and then click ok so you can see now viewing as dynamic country rule and xyz is logged in so you can see he is able to see the data for country germany and these are the different products now let's check for different user so we have another user here with izx and he is going to see the data for mexico so let's click here view as dynamic country other user yzx at the rate data com click ok now we are going to we what we are seeing we are showing a uh, role as dynamic country and uh, the user logged in is yzx at the rate data also. so you can see that uh, the data is filtered for mexico then we will publish this report again the report is published to our workspace we will go to workspace then we will click here on the three dots on the data set then in security you can see we have a new role dynamic country so you can add people here you just need to add people here and they will be filtered based on the security table so we have created a dynamic role for country now let's say we need to create a dynamic role based on country as well as product now the problem here is right now we are filtering this security table dynamically and it is filtering this country table and this country table is filtering the artifact table now we want to filter country table as well as product table simultaneously because in a single rule we need to filter country and product but the problem is when we are going to make a relationship between country and product power bi is not going to allow us to make this relationship you can see this is a dotted line so because both are filtering this table so power bi will not allow to do this so what we can do we will delete both of these relationship so we have deleted both our relationship now security table is not connected to any of these table now let's look at our security table how our security table looks like so what we, what we are doing here we want to filter uh, this email id by country as well as product so when xyz is logged in he is going to see the data for this germany country and product montana similarly for when yzx is logged in he is going to see the data for mexico country and product paseo now let's go to this manage rules so we have already created one rule that is dynamic rule let's change its name dynamic product and country so what we are going to do we are going to filter both country and product based on this dynamic rule so we have wrote down one dex statement so let's understand what this dex is going to do so what what our objective is so when a user logged in with a username dex will fetch its username and filter that and filter this country based on the username and the security table so let's say xyz is logged in so what dex will do dex will fetch the user id it's let's say xyz is our mail uh, our id xyz at the rate data com. it will search the security table like for which country this uh, xyz had permission to view the report it will fetch the country name and then with that country name it will filter this country report so what we are doing here we are fetching the user id and we have uh, saved this user id in this user role now what we are doing we are filtering this security table this table based on the email id we have fetched that is username and then we are fetching the value of country for which this user is allowed in the security table so through this in this rls in this rls variable we have saved the country details country name for which this user is allowed now what we are doing we are filtering this country table with this country value Similarly for product, we wrote down this tax. We are uh, we are filtering the security table first. Then we are uh, taking out the detail of product for which this email ID has uh, access, and we are saving this product detail in RLS value. And then this uh, we are filtering this product table based on this RLS value. So this is the dynamic access when we want to filter two tables simultaneously. So now let's check this rule. We will go to view as the role is saving first we will go to this view as tab 
then we will click on other users and dynamic country and product we will type the name xyz at the rate dataverse.com click ok here now you can see the report is filtered based on the two rules that is country and product so xyz it has the access of germany country and montana product so that's all for this video we have seen three types of uh, rls here like first is static rls then we have created a dynamic RLS based on the country. Then we have created another dynamic RLS based on two, uh, two dimension like one is country and another is product. So guys, that's all for this video. If you find this video insightful, then please do like this video and subscribe to our channel and feel free to ask anything in comment section. We will try our best to answer all of them. Check us out on different social media platforms like LinkedIn, Facebook and Twitter and check our websites that is datawills.com. So we'll see you in our next video. Thank you. Bye.